Oh my gosh, that sun is bright. We haven't seen it in about four days. <laughs> Hi, I'm Pete, and welcome to Just a Few Acres Farm. Today is a big day. And it starts with this. That's not uncommon, but up we go. Hi, Tulip. Hi, Coco. Yeah. You guys got a little confused. The hay's on the opposite side today from where we've been feeding it. We were feeding hay over here on the south side, but now we're feeding on the north side. It's all part of the plan. Step two, detach the float valve. That's step two. Step 1A, 2A, I don't know. It's out of order. The plan never works according to plan. We gotta close this gate. And close the gate between the pens. They're all stuck in the north. Oh, you guys got plenty. Step 23F, is it? Is that where I'm at? I don't remember. Bail out the water trough. That job is done. Water tank is still and salt block is there. Hay is there. Everything a cow needs to have a good day. Now I gotta take this board off. Don't worry, I'll get to the overall plan in a minute. I'm just doing the preparatory stuff. We have to take the bale spear off of the tractor. and put the manure forks on. And now we're ready to get going on the first main task. If you've ever moved cattle before, then you know it can be a pain. Because you don't move the cattle, the cattle move themselves. So you need to think of a way to get them to go where you want them to go. And that can involve many steps. In fact, today's work I spent, I've probably been thinking about for the last two weeks. Normally at this time, we would be bringing all these guys out to pasture and recombining the herd and we'd have our annual bull competition and all that, but we're not doing that this year. Orden is staying in here with the cow 1804 that had her calf a couple weeks ago. You know the calf, Polly Walnuts. Because we want to make sure that she's rebred by Orden before she goes out in the pasture where Titus may possibly rebreed her. So I started thinking about that, how we're gonna arrange that, plus, Today we need to bring in two steers that are going to the butcher in about five days and we load them out of the little pen in the barn here so we've got to get them in here so the plan is to keep Orden and 1804 plus her calf Polly Walnuts in the barn with two steers that we're going to bring in we got to get the right two and then to send everybody else outside and to get the cattle to want to do that of their own accord instead of trying to push them around and you know, all that kind of stuff, because that's not very successful. And my son Henry and I were watching an old caper movie last night. You know the type that bank robbers all get together and they plan step one, step two, and they've got plans and the safe cracker comes in, there's a demolition expert and all that stuff. Oh, it occurred to me, this is kind of that way. It's a plan and any part of the plan can go wrong and you have to adapt and improvise because in the movies, something always goes wrong, right? That's what makes it exciting. We're gonna see how the plan goes today, starting with the next step. Which is cleaning out the cow's pen. clean this out is because we got to bring the stock trailer in here and if there's a high bedding pack the tailgate or the gate on the back of it is too high for the steers to climb into it so we got to bring it down in preparation for five days from now while the cattle are out of this bag 
First major step complete. And that's all I'll need the tractor for today. Now we can close these gates back up. I know, ladies. Sheesh, you guys. Put the cap board back on. Hook the water back up. Pick up all my accidents on the driveway. Gotta keep things clean, you know. Sort of. A little bit, maybe. I brought in the muscle for this part of the job. I don't know about that. The next step is we got to separate this group of cattle. Orden, our bull, and one of the cows needs to stay in here, and the cow's calf needs to stay in. Now, calves are really tough to manage when you're moving cattle around because they're really unpredictable. So what we're going to do is put the calf in the north pen where the pigs go just for a few minutes while we get the cattle sorted out, and then we can let them back in. All the other calves are going outside. we got to go in here and... See if we can get Polly through. Yes, this is one of the calves' favorite spot. There's Polly right there. They like to hang out by the baler. Well, it's hard to reach him in here, so I'll send you guys in. Come on, you guys. Let's go. There you go. Off you go. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Let that red one around. You got to turn your head around. There we go. Polly is separated. You can go eat some vines for a while. We'll get this other guy to go through. There you go. We got one, two, three, four calves in here all set. Now into the pen. Open the gate. Then we can sort these guys. 1804 and Titus got to stay in. Where's 1804? Are you 1804? No, she's 17. Pull that gate back further. Oh. Come on. We got some of them out anyway. And we'll let them go out into the pasture. Come on, guys. Let's go. Out you go. Come on, Coco. Come on, little guy. Come on, Tulip. Come on, Coco. Let's go. Next round. That's okay. Let him go. Where's 1804? You can keep her in there. Let all these guys out. Come on, you calves, you squirrely suckers. Now we got this collection of characters in here, including Orton, who we don't want to go out. A couple cows over there. Oh geez, we got them all stirred up. We're gonna wait on Orton here because we know that trying to push him back from this outside door doesn't work. So he'll say his piece and then we can continue onward. As long as she's standing out there, he's not going anywhere. Orden, you know, you certainly have gotten lean. You're down to fighting weight for breeding season. Bulls always lose weight during breeding season. Ooh, that well, we did it the other way. Now all the rest of the cattle are in the little pen. And Orden's by himself here, so we can open this door back up. Bulls certainly do act different during breeding season. Testosterone, I guess. Come on, Orden. We got to get you out of this corner here. I know you want to headbutt things, including Titus, but you got to go. All right, guys, get in there. Come on, come on, Mom. Come on. Now we can run out this rabble here in this little pen. Come on, guys. Oh, we got three little ones. Come on, we're all going out. There you go. All 
All right, guys. We got to run these guys out. Come on, let's go. Out you go. Come in. Come in. Out you go. All right, Coco, you're a sticky one. Let's go. Turn around. Come on. All your calves are with you. Come on, moms. There you go, Coco. Let's close you up here. Mom, you want to be reunited with your calf, don't you? Yeah, you can smell them. All right, Polly. Let's get you back with Mom. Well, don't, you're gonna, really? Come on. I know you're nervous. Never been in here before. Come on. Come on, little guy. Come on, Polly. There you go. Now you know where to go. You go in with Mom. There. How was that, Hill? It wasn't that bad. No. After you do this for a while, I guess you kind of figure out what works and what doesn't. Yeah. A small farm our size, it's not like we're going to build a set of chutes and holding pens and all that. We work with what we have. Um, that was kind of the first part of the process. So we got the ones that are going to stay in the barn, in the barn and they're off onto the side that doesn't open back to the winter pasture. Now we got to go out and bring in the cattle that are out on pasture so that we can get the two steers into the barn that are going yeah, to the butcher Yeah, that'll be a, Hopefully they'll come. I know Titus is up here. I heard him yell. The problem is going to be that Titus is not going to want to leave Orden when he sees Orden in the barn. Yeah. It's, it's going to happen. Titus is standing at the gate. I'm sure he will love to see these cows come out, but we got to go down and get the rest of the herd over the hill here. Because cattle are like gum, one piece sticks to another. It's not like we can just single out two steers and bring them up and put them in. We have to put the whole herd in there and then catch the steers in the barn and separate them out. It would be impossible to just bring up the steers. I think they see me. Hi, Patty. Come on, cows. Here they come. Come on, cows. They're galloping toward me. Today is a special day. It sure is. You get to see your long lost mates. Yep, Patty, you can see Tulip, your daughter, and you guys can both complain as a team. Come on, cows. These guys are going to be very confused by the end of the day, moving them all over the place. They'll settle in. Come on, cows. He's one of the guys that's going, so. <laughs> It'd be nice if the two just marched up. Come on, cows! Come on, cows! You guys are sticky today. Let's open this gate to the Maginot line. Maybe that'll let them know something's going on here. Oh, now they know what to do. They're piling up against the gate. All right, watch out, guys. We're going to reunite everybody here. Come on in, guys. All right, now they're all mingling here. Titus is after somebody. Oh, she's already been bred. You guys, you gotta go into the winter pasture. At least a couple of you do. Two tag, we really want you to go this way. Come on. Come on, you guys. You gotta go in there and see what's going on. Come on uphill. Come on. We're going in to see what's going on here. We're all going into the winter pasture, including you, little guy. Let's go. Here you go, little one. Oh, jeez, Patty's riding Coco. Come on, we gotta go this way. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's go, everybody. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you guys. Let's go. Little ones, too. Don't jump the fence. Don't. Come on, guys. In you go. Don't chew on the weed. Just go through. Come on. No, don't come back out. No, 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 no. Nope, nope, nope. Hey. Hey. Come on. Hip. Hey. 
There you go. Everybody's in here. We'll close the gate. Watch out. Watch out. Now we're back on the other side in the barn. We're going to open up the gate here. This is the point in the process where we really don't know what will happen. There's one of them. 2007? That's the second one right there. That was very fortunate because Titus didn't come into the barn, although he rushed the door. When Titus gets in here, him and Orton being that close, can't get to each other, is destructive. We got to wait for Titus. He's the one with the poopy butt there to be distracted and go way out there, and then we can start bleeding the other cattle out back through this door. He's giving her the sniff. All right, we're going to try and bleed some off. This guy can go. Dad, you can go. Yeah. Nope. Not you. Uh, you're staying. Yeah. Little guy, you can go. And you can go. You can't go. We're down to five. You got to stay. You got to stay. Go. Go back there. Hillary's got to sort through these guys. Come on, out you go. There, Doc. There you go. Rusty's next. Rusty's the last one. There you go. That's the last one. Yes. <laughs> you two guys, you're the ones we wanted. And we got you guys safe, so Orden, you can breed her again if she comes into heat. She came into heat once already, and he bred her. Now we got to go back around to the other side <laughs> to open up the gate and let the cows back up into pasture, all of them this time, except for the ones that are in the barn. You know, so far our bank heist plan has gone okay, I would say. <laughs> Better than expected. The cops haven't nice. showed up yet. <laughs> My guess is when we open that back gate, they're all gonna wanna go out, but that's just my guess. Back to the winter pasture rear gate to open it up. They're all doing their thing over there. You guys are waiting for instructions, aren't you? Come on, cows! <laughs> that's good, they're happy to come back out. Come on, cows! <laughs> oh, come on! Is that, you? Is that his tulip, can you tell? That's that's Patty, mother and daughter. Come on, guys. Come on, cows. Come on, cows. <laughs> come on, cows. You guys all got to come out of here. There you go. Calves, too. The whole menagerie. Hey, little ones. Hey, you too, Patty. Oh, you got pooped on. Patty got the badge of shame. That's what you're mad about. That's all of them. We'll go back and close the gate. Then we got to close up the second gate. Remember, we got no man's land in here, no cow's land, measure no line, whatever you want to call it. They're all milling around here, trying to figure out what's happening. That was a successful caper. Now the question is, at the end of the caper movie, one of the partners on the team always double crosses everybody else, takes the money and runs. Which one of us will it be? Mm. Yep, I thought so. I can't finish this without talking about cattle breeding because there's always lots of questions about it. Number one, the herd's all mixed up now because we've recombined two subsets of the herd. So they need to reestablish their familiarity with each other and most importantly, their pecking order. So you'll see them butting heads like these guys right here. They gotta establish dominance up and down the line. It's not just the bulls. See, even the yearlings do it. And this is something that happens throughout the animal world. It's not just a product of being on a farm with two bulls or two cows or whatever it is. If you've ever watched deer battle for dominance, stags battle for dominance, 
they all do it. It's one of the ways that nature figures out who's the boss and who gets breeding rights. They seem to be chilling a little bit. Our breeding season is six weeks long, and the reason that it's six weeks long is because a cow's heat cycle is about three weeks. So if we separate them for six weeks, then we're kind of guaranteeing that the bull sees two heats in the cow. So if he misses the cow the first time, she doesn't get bred, there's a second chance to do it. So that when we recombine them like this, we're reasonably sure that everybody, all the cows anyway, have been bred by the bull that we wanted them to breed with. And the reason that we've got one group in the barn and winter pasture and one that has the advantage of being out on the pasture is because our farm's just too small to run two herds of cattle and two bulls far enough away from each other on pasture so that they don't get into battles and run through fences and things like that. The herd will stay together for the rest of the year. Everybody out here will stay together. Orden and the cow that we're waiting on the second heat from will be in there for about three more weeks, two to three, and then they'll come back out with everybody else. And the whole herd will stay together until July, the end of July next year, when we'll repeat this thing all over again. It's nice to have them all back on pasture as one unit. So after weeks of planning and figuring out which step comes before which other step, because it's never the same on two consecutive years, it's always a little different. It's really nice to have the herd back settled again. I hope you enjoyed this video. Farming isn't as simple as it might seem to be on the surface. It's not just about sticking a bunch of cattle out on the pasture and letting them go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. My favorite is when you get two cows going at it and then you've got a third that's kind of like, hey, I want to join in. Coco, you're going to win this match. <laughs> Crisis poop. There we go. <laughs> this is just like Battle of the Bulls, only smaller. Coco versus Doc. There's no doubt Coco's the boss of this match. Doc, you might as well give up. Oh, jeez. Mixed behavior here. Actually, this is Marty and Doc versus Coco. Marty's been helping Doc out a little bit. <laughs> they are tired.